Hey there, this is Jordan, your Science Mani Addicts correspondent for today's awesome video. Welcome to our video today, where we're gonna talk about some really crazy science stuff. This is really taking the term Science Mani Addicts seriously. Have you ever heard of CRISPR? It's a tool scientists use to change the DNA of animals, plants, and now even mankind, imagine that. Recently, they used it on alligators and catfish. Scientists took alligator eggs and used CRISPR to change a certain gene that controls the temperature at which the alligator's sex is determined. This means that by changing the temperature, they can control if the alligator is born a boy or a girl. This is supposed to help prevent the population of alligators from getting too skewed towards one sex. But that's not all. The scientists didn't just stop at alligators. They also used CRISPR on catfish to make them grow faster. The catfish grew about 25% bigger and faster than regular catfish. The alligator gene that the scientists use on the catfish is called the alpha crystalline B gene. This gene helps alligators to be able to survive in cold water. So by adding this gene to the catfish, the scientists were able to make the catfish more resilient to changes in water temperature. In addition to the alligator gene, the scientists also added a gene from a species of fish called the arctic char. This gene, called the growth hormone receptor gene, helped to increase the catfish's growth rate even more. This is no doubt science stuff, but it also raises some important questions. What are the potential effects on the environment if these genetically modified animals are released into the wild? And is it ethical to change the natural course of an animal's development? One of the benefits they say of using CRISPR to genetically modify animals is that it can lead to more efficient and sustainable agriculture. By making animals that can grow faster or survive in different environments, we can produce more food with less resources. But it's important to remember that with any new technology, there are also risks that need to be carefully considered. What do you think are the potential effects on the environment if genetically modified animals are released into the wild? Is it ethical to change the natural course of an animal's development? How, if at all, can we use genetic modification to make agriculture more efficient and sustainable? Should we be changing the DNA of any animal or anything? Would you eat this type of modified fish? Me personally, I love me some catfish, but I don't know about this one, guys. I might have to pass. Another question that comes to mind is this, Will genetically modified meat be clearly labeled in stores for consumers to know? These are all questions that have yet to be seen. I guess time will tell. Until then, keep swimming upstream. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And let us know in the comments what you think about using CRISPR on animals. <laughs>